Welcome back to the Hot Tip Bets Daily Pick Show for UFC Vegas 35. A pretty good card on slate for this weekend. However, you know, a lot of close fights, in my opinion. Really hard to find some edges on here. Um, so really not a lot of picks that I love, but two fights that I do like, and I think there should be some great ones. So let's just jump right into it. I'm sorry, Ms. Jackson. So the first fight that I'm taking a look at on this card, Kevin Lee taking on Daniel Rodriguez. You know, Lee enters this fight 18 and 6 in his pro career, Rodriguez 15 and 2. And for Kevin Lee, obviously the loss back in March 2020 to Charles Oliveira, you know, the last <laughs> UFC pay-per-view before the shutdown, not pay-per-view, UFC fight night before the shutdown. Um and he, you know, definitely had a rough, <laughs> rough past year for Kevin Lee, tearing his ACL, had surgery on that while he's recovering from that ACL tear, tears the other one. So comes into this fight off of two surgeries to both of his knees. So definitely a, a, a comeback fight for him, no doubt. Um, and it's not the easiest fight to come back to you know daniel rodriguez is a pretty good fighter um had a win back in june over preston parsons um but for rodriguez the resume isn't necessarily the greatest he is a very good striker though you can't discount that and he has an absolute ton of power in his hands you know you never know what you're getting hit at with sometimes and the volume is very good too so rodriguez striking wise is going to be a challenge for lee here in this one um and you know lee moving up to 170 for this fight um i think that could hurt him a little bit i don't know that it's honestly going to matter a whole lot he does have a three inch reach advantage which again i don't know that's even going to make a whole lot of difference in this fight um but lee's resume is just much better especially for only being 28 years old i know he's about to turn 29 here in a couple weeks but you know he doesn't he his, his resume is just undisputably better than rodriguez um and lee is a very very athletic guy a very athletic fighter with a very strong kickboxing box or a skill set um and i think that's going to be a huge you know thing he tries to lean on here he does have some nice striking but if we're being honest kevin lee what we're gonna be seeing from him in this fight and what i expect to, to see him win this fight with is the wrestling you know absolutely a, a great wrestler next level next level wrestling skills and when he gets guys you know gets top control over guys it's really hard for them to, to do a whole lot of anything all around he's just a really really good fighter that's not to say rodriguez is a bad fighter in any means you know rodriguez has some great cardio a very good gas tank um and he'll probably have not necessarily the reach advantage but the size you know weight ish advantage going into this fight and for rodriguez the takedown defense is what he's gonna have to to rely on going into this one um you know his takedown defense we've seen it be good in the past we've seen it be bad in the past so it's really how much he focused on that on his camp is what we're gonna you know be looking at here in this fight against lee but for rodriguez i just honestly don't see it i think kevin lee is gonna just out wrestle him here in this one um, Rodriguez has to try to keep this fight on the feet if he wants any chance to to even you know sniff a victory. But really, as long as Kevin Lee is 100% recovered from those ACL injuries, um, which you know if he's taking this fight, I would hope he is. Um, I really don't see any path to victory for Rodriguez. I think Kevin Lee, if he gets it on the ground, if he wants to keep it on the feet and strike, I think he's the bo the better fighter in both areas. Definitely the better fighter on the ground. You know, no question about that. Um, either way, though, these two fighters getting in the together it should be a pretty good fight but i like kevin lee minus 145 to win this one and now for the main event, Edson Barboza taking on GG Chikadze. You know, Chikadze is 13 and two in his pro career. Barboza 22 and six. And Barboza, you know, enters this fight on a two fight win streak. Hopefully, heading himself back in the right direction. Dropped three before that. Chikadze, you know, has not been beaten in the UFC. He does have that contender series loss, so it's not like he's you know unbeaten in, in Dana White's <laughs> realm. But technically, in UFC fights, doesn't have the loss. Um, you know, he does enter this fight after. A pretty big victory over Chubb Swanson in his last one, the you know one minute KO in that fight. But he really just doesn't have a whole lot of great fights on the record. You know, um, a definitely a good record, definitely a great run here in the UFC. But um, he's just not at the same level that I think Barboza is. You know, Barboza feels like a guy who is if he wins this fight, could not necessarily next fight get a title shot, but he could be a fight or two away from a title shot, no doubt. Chikazi just feels like he is he is even further than that. Barboza just the much more experienced MMA fighter. You know, Chikazi, we have seen him. You know, be a pro kickboxer in. The the past he has a very good kickboxing skill set 
and he's transitioned to that very well into the UFC, you know, very technical fighter, um, you know, and, and he makes it look good, um, but his striking volume is not great. I don't love it there. And really, I think the biggest thing that I like Barboza for in this fight is his, his much better cardio, his much better gas tank, you know, Chikazi. I really don't see him being able to last into the fourth and fifth round very well. Granted, he might not have to, to take it there, but if it does, I just don't see it. For Barboza, his great leg kicks, his very powerful hands. You know, he showed off those hands in the Burgos fight um, and looked very good there. He's also a very technical fighter, so it's not like because he's the only the only technical guy here. And Barboza's fight IQ is absolutely on another level. You know, the cardio and gas tank for him, if this thing gets into the fourth or fifth round, he absolutely has a huge advantage. Um, really, I think the best best what i see this fight going as i think barboza gets the ko victory here wouldn't also be shocked if it goes to decision i think barboza um either one of those ways could easily win this fight for chickazy he's gonna have to he's gonna have to try to end this fight early you know if he gets the, the stop in the first or second round i think that's about his only path to victory the later this thing goes the more tired he gets i think barboza you know just becomes more and more the favorite to win this fight and really i think barboza you know is is, is out of that skid that he had those three fight losing streaks um, I think he wins this fight, and I think we see him in a title shot not too far down the line. So I like Edson Barboza minus 115 in this one. That is it for UFC Vegas 35. If you want to see picks for everything happening on this card, head over to hottipest.com. Check out the computer model picks. Got picks for all of the fights on the card, as well as college football week zero happening this weekend. NFL week three of preseason, as always, MLB. So lots of stuff to gamble on this weekend. Plenty of action. So definitely take a look at all that on hottipest.com and here on the YouTube channel. If you're not already following me at Hot Tipest Chris on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you follow me there so you don't miss out on any future content, as well as on the Best Stamp app. Get early access to all of the picks and also follow the hot debits main account on twitter instagram facebook and tiktok stay up to date on everything happening there as well as if you're watching here on youtube make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content and most importantly drop a comment down below i'd love to hear what you guys think about the fights on this card um you like the two fighters i picked you you think there's some other good value on this card definitely let me know um i'd love to hear from you so thanks for watching today's show and i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>